At the time of the Civil War in the United States, which is a very interesting turning point, midway in the Industrial Revolution, industrial rebuilding in the United States, um, slavery in the South was obviously condemned, but the counter-argument was something they called wage slavery. And what did that mean? It meant that you had no protection. All, you could be fired at will uh, without a job. You could be thrown out on the street, and you were a, a wage slave was the term. Thirteenth Amendment, which says you cannot treat a human being as a commodity for buying and selling. And the new economics is you can no longer buy or sell labor, but you can rent it. So the wage is you're renting somebody. The word job was invented in the industrial age in England. It didn't exist before. And it describes a pile of things that one does for money. Work is a very, very old concept. And work is something you do because you're passionate about or because you're good at it or because that's what you love doing. A job is specifically something you do for pay. Pay in national money, to be precise. Tell me, why are you interested in this job? I need a steady job, Mr. Wiley, with a chance to go places. People like Woodrow Wilson and Abraham Lincoln said that if America became that sort of society, the society in which everyone became, the vast majority became wage laborers or wage slavery, as they used to call it, uh, we would lose the freedoms that, were, that made America great. If you, say, were in such conditions of duress, you know, that you just couldn't survive except by being a slave, uh, you might sign a contract that says, okay, I'll be your slave. That's by your own free will. I mean, are we going to take that seriously? I mean, you know, under some pathological assumptions, I suppose. We live in an economy which takes 80% of our each new generation and educates that 80% to obey orders and to endure boredom and stifles their creativity and stifles their capacities and, and curtails them. They are systematically crushed by a system which does what? which fills slots. And 80% of the slots need people who just do rote, tedious, repetitive labor, at least at work, and therefore are acclimated to doing that. Most of my jobs I've never really liked. I've never uh, said, this is, this is great. I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. Yeah, there was a job um, I really, really despised, but the money was really good. I mean, it wasn't the job that I wanted, you know, and my daily life and my work experience was just not making me happy. I mean, you could say, you know what, this is a terrible job, I don't want to do it. It's a free market, you, you have total choice to not show up under these terrible conditions. At the same time, if you don't, uh, little problem here, you're not going to eat and your family isn't going to eat. And that's why people do it.